Well, how do the chums to I, Captain Steve, play an Elden Ring, and today I'm going to be doing a rebirth of my character. Now, so far I've been ploughing a lot of stats into intelligence, and the gains for it I haven't seen to be of too much of note, to be fair. So I want to spread it out a bit, and I'm going to become some sort of clerical warrior knight. So I'm thinking maybe put a bit into the actual faith element, so I can use the knight and flame sword. So here we go. It tells you exactly what rebirth is all about on the screen here. You get to reallocate all the points that you've vested so far. So here we go. It's a bit of a sort of moving stuff around, and yet you can't go any lower than what they were when you chose your original class. Brilliant. Okay, lovely. So I'm going to make my character a little bit more rounded. But I've picked up a sword. I've picked up a sword called the Night and Flame Sword. And it's got two magical abilities imbued into its blade. I'll have to show you where I picked this up from. Because you can just run straight into this building and grab the dang thing. But yeah, I'll do a future video on that. So I'm going to put my whole build around this one sword. I know it's a little bit crazy, but I do like this sword. I like it a lot. And then I'm thinking maybe just get gravity spells and use the gravity staff. Because the gravity staff seems fairly good. I've been upgrading the glintstone staff and it it hasn't even come close to the gravity staff as yet and it's like level four so you know what i might just keep the gravity staff get gravity spells and also some holy magic to go with my faith yeah so a faithy sort of cleric i've also put a little bit into arcane but you can see there my endurance i've upped quite a great deal mainly so i can wear freaking armor because the thing with sages is there's hardly any armor sets for the sages and that's what's put me off of the class massively so the astrologer class that i was i'm no longer well technically i am i'm still based on the astrologer but there's no sort of gear for the astrologer that makes, makes them look cool apart from a smurf hat which no, just not for me. So I'm going to go down the armoured route or at least have better robes. I might use the vampiric robes that I got off of Morg. Yeah, because that's quite a nice set. And I might be able to keep my little smurf hat with that because there's like a red shawl or a sash that comes down. We'll get to that in a moment. But here we go. Now the remainder I'm going to sort of pump into intelligence. I still want my intelligence to be fairly high. I'd like to get it up to about 50 if I possibly can. But I'm also going to be upping the faith as well so faith and intelligence is where i'm going to be stacking everything else and the rest of those stats i'm fairly happy with now so brilliant awesome so that's it i'm going to be sort of like a faithy intelligent warrior there we are so here we go now let's uh, change this out because this is how i looked before running around with a freaking jellyfish head nailed to my arm but i also want to make myself look like a demon so I'm going to go for a red skin type. Oh, I do like that jet black, though. That looks quite cool. So if I go to adjust color, I can then pump this all the way over to here and I can make him nice and red like a red shaggy demon. Brilliant. He looks like the guy out of legend. Yeah, awesome. I used to have my beard like that. I might have to grow it back in again and have it back down to here. That, that did look quite cool. A bit Wolverine-y. Um, Ivy wasn't overly keen. So, yeah, now I'll just go for this stubbly look. Anyhow, there we go. So I guess he looks a little like me. Well, Oh, uh, no, mm, kind of. That'd do. Fudge it. That'd have to do. That's about as close as I can get. Lovely job. Awesome. But yeah, bright red skin though. I do like the colour red. Yeah. Anyhow, done, done, done. So that's my new look. I say that's my new look. It's not really. We need to do the equipment. Oh, look at that. I got myself a new emote. Isn't that lovely? Righto. Awesome. So we're going to go for the Night and Flame Sword. So this is it. Brilliant. Comes with two sort of magical abilities imbued into its blade. We'll go and test it out in a moment. You can see what sort of damage it can do. I can't wait. And I'm going to be having a new shield. So hopefully I might be able to put a skill into this shield at some stage. You know, one of those... I haven't really played with them, the Ashes of War or whatever they're called. I haven't really played with them. So, yeah, I'm going to add some of those into it, maybe. Find a nice one. Make it sort of like uh, unblockable or something. I don't know. I quite like this shield. Is there better ones? I might have to have a look on the old wiki and see if I can find one that I like more. But for now, that would do. And I'm going to have this, the Lord of Blood's Robe. Heck yes. Oh, I can go and buy some of that stuff from that round lady chick, can't I? She's got all sorts of stuff in there. I'd have to have a look. But for now, we'll just put on a gold gauntlet nice and uh we'll put on those the carrion knight greaves brilliant awesome and i think that kind of completes the ensemble i think i look quite nice but let's just ditch the staff and have the sword in hand yes yes oh yes i'm liking this that looks freaking excellent doesn't it I'm liking that he's got that sort of armoured shoulder with the shield that continues on like it's a whole guard inside of his body. 
like it. Well, let's go and see what I can do with this blade. Ha! And there we go. Flame. Boom. So that's one of the abilities. OK, I need to get out of here. I've triggered quite a few of them. I've made them angry. They're going to get me. They're going to freaking have me. Hold on, I'm practicing. I'm, I'm, give me a chance. OK, right, there's the other ability. Hadouken! <laughs> right, OK, we're just going to have to go at them with melee combat. They're probably going to win this one, though. Yes, I'm, I'm not used to this build yet. They got the better on me. And I haven't upgraded the blade, have I? No! Let's go buy some somber stones and let's get smithing on this blade. And we'll go back and we'll teach those little guys a lesson. Right now, so you can buy somber stones, somber one, two, three, and four, from this chap, which is pretty nice. One and two, you can buy infinite amount. Three and four, you can only buy up to, I think, you get buy four off of him total. Well, I've already bought one, so there we go. Now I can only get two more off of him. But it's perfect for upgrading this blade all the way up to Somber 5. I'd have to go get some Somber Stone 5s. But yeah, here we go. Brilliant. Upgrade. Lovely jubbly. And that's about as far as I can push it for now. But look at that. That's an increase. That's pretty darn freaking nice. Magic and fire. Yes, I might have to get some fire spells to accompany myself as well. So yeah, I, I know I said I'm going to do gravity, but I might have to look at fire as well, since I am up in some stuffage here, but holy as well. Die! Yeah, have that you. Yeah, so we just hit him. Let's just you, let's just pick on one for now. Let's not bite off more than I can chew. Yes, that's doing a heck of a lot more damage. And I'm loving the fact that I've got more stamina and more health. And I've got a little bit more magic on the bar. So I think the rebirth has played me well. I think this is a better sort of character to roll with. He's a little bit more all-roundy. I kept finding that sometimes when I actually drew in enemies that had swords or melee, I was outclassed and outshone every time. And But now I can move fast, I can roll, and I'm wearing better gear. I can feel a bit more confident in my actual adventure. So there we go. I've rebirthed -icated. Take this, you. And yeah, I'm loving the actual gravity spell that I have. However, I'm finding that I'm using this spell overly a lot. And I was getting a bit bored of just using this or using the glintstone pebble. So now I've got this sword. It's going to make it a little bit interesting, I think. Mixing it up a bit. I do like that fire arc for AoE damage. And then the laser for like people that are in a, a small confined corridor. Because that's another thing. Using that gravity spell, because the boulders were hitting the walls and things, I just wasn't getting a lot of damage inside of dungeons and stuff. So now I've got that. Yeah, the sword with the blue beam. Brilliant! Awesome. I think I'm a lot more versatile in my delivery of pain upon this world. Heck yes. Brilliant. So I can't wait to be rocking around in the world with this. So yeah, it doesn't hurt to do a rebirth. You do need one of those larval cores and you do need to beat that boss. Uh, yeah, if you want to see my guide of beating that boss, I've put a card in the top right hand corner. You've all been freaking fantastic. I've just hit 22,000 subscribers. So I want to say a massive great big thank you to everybody out there that's helping this channel out in its growth. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, until next time, people, you're going to be seeing me rocking around with a freaking knight and flame sword. I'll show you where to get it in a future episode. Cheery bye. Goodbye, goodbye and goodbye again. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.